pull just so I can get the angle that I need, but you can still drive if you like. <laughs> Let me take my lens cap off. That might be slightly tricky for me. Yeah, I just so uh, need to make sure that I'm not getting crazy with the lens box. Okay, so you were going to show me the... Yeah, so you can see I've actually switched to another scene now. So in this scene, this is my kind of daytime scene. So what I've configured here are things that I'm going to be using in the day. So I've got my stock widget, which is not something I would normally have in an evening. Also, if I look at my, you know, I've got my mail and it's my work mail that I've got set up here. So rather than my uh, mail at home as well. Okay. Uh, also, so you can... You've got seven screens actually, and within each screen you can just customize it. So if I decide I actually don't want to have the uh, internet, mm -hmm. I can maybe pick something else. And I've got quite a wide selection of different things I can add to the home screen. So, um, and depending on what I want to add, mm -hmm. there's sometimes some different sizes as well. So I might want a full screen music if that's a big deal for me, but I could also maybe choose a slightly smaller widget. Once I select that, I'm able to drag that around the screen as well. So if I click and hold, allow me to drag it and drop it wherever I need it as well so again I could add something else to the screen maybe all I just want is a shortcut to maybe one of my favorite favorite friends so I could just pick a contact add them and then maybe send a message to them and so that person's there again I could drag it around and I actually have seven screens where I can do this on so it's pretty flexible and then if I do want to switch to another scene that I've saved, then I can switch to that and that will have a predefined th set of things saved as well. Um, the other thing that's really neat is around this uh, people-centric commu communication and keeping things close to you. So uh, John had already shown that. So when you go into the people experience, the idea is that you can access everything about a particular person. So if I pick, say, Charles, I'll better see all the communications I've had with Charles. So that might be text messages. Maybe that's email, but I'll also better have a look if he's got albums as well, and I'll actually be seeing the live Facebook and Flickr albums. And you can basically associate anyone in your contacts with Facebook and Flickr. Um, one of the other things you'll do once you've associated it with a Facebook or Flickr, you'll get notifications when uh, new events have happened, like a status update. It'll also import their birthdays, things like that. So it's quite interactive actually, um, and you'll see that go through in the home screen as well. So if I receive a notification from somebody, uh, a particular person in the person widget, I'll actually see, there you go, Josie's got some updates. And what it'll be doing right now, it'll be going away to the Facebook profile and trying to download the images for each person as well, which is quite cool because we have a lot of people-centric communications and uh, when you have those big large screen photos and stuff, it'll get them all off Facebook for you. So, Can you show me that Twitter app again? Yeah, sure, I'll get the Twitter widget. And so I what, could similarly do like live news updates or Facebook status or whatever. Is yeah, exactly. We've got various different widgets and they allow you and they basically just push in content all the time for you. Now, Even, yeah, I was going to ask, when you um, save, when you connect these different profiles on your phone, yeah. does that save it somewhere? Like what if you were to get a new HTC phone that has HTC Sense, and there, would it be able to update that? Yeah, that's a great question actually. So for this device, we've actually added a sync tool. So the idea is that uh, um, you can connect it up to your PC and it will synchronize those settings so they're saved. So next time you switch to a new um, device with a HTC Sense, you'll better back those up. And, and the sync is through your PC? Yeah. Okay, awesome. So. Yeah, so maybe I'll just switch. So this is my daytime scene. Maybe I'll again to switch to my, my social scene, which is something I'd probably use in the evening. Just ask me. So you can have like multiple scenes. And the idea is that you would switch between scenes maybe twice or three times a day. And so this is my kind of social networking scene here. So you can see maybe I've, I've got the Twitter widget, but I've also um, added um, some other things, which is like, let me just show you. So my email here, I've got an email widget, but I've actually tied it to my Gmail account. So rather than it being my Exchange account for work, I've tied it to my uh, Gmail account as well. And you can see here, I've actually added a few of my um, applications off market as well that I want to use. So it's extremely flexible. Um, the other thing you can do is on the lock screen as well. So there's a lock screen wallpapers and you can predefine those to be whatever you want as well. And can you have different wallpapers for all of your seven different homepages? Yeah, on each one? scene each scene has its own set of customization widgets, shortcuts, the background, everything is fully customizable, so it's quite nice as well. Um, 
some of the unexpected stuff like they've already mentioned about the browser so within the browser we've added flash support so you can see there, there's, a, there's a flash we also have added the pin zoom and you can see the text reflow so if I zoom in there text reflow should rotate as well it's actually you should better yeah so I'll load the link and then I'll switch to the next page so it's actually and it's extremely fast as well are any of these updates that you see with uh, like the flash support um, and the pinching is are those going to be reverse compatible at all on like the the G1 so, and the Dream and the no, Magic? No, so the the G1 and the Magic are Google Experience phones, so they don't have the HTC Sense okay. Experience. Okay. But any devices that HTC releases with HTC Sense, gotcha. all this stuff will be on there. So these are all HTC innovation actually that we've added. So, but I think for me that my favorite part of it really is around the people centric communication so it's the fact that you can go in a person and all the information is aggregated yeah, that's great um, it's really really nice unfortunately uh, just in here they're not fully connected up but essentially I would be able to see all the updates for a particular person uh, which is really nice awesome. and also if I show you the album as well as having obviously the albums you have on your uh, regularly on your SD card, the micro SD card that's on the device, you could also have your Facebook and Flickr albums. I should better get you. Sorry. So here these are three people that I've associated with a Flickr account and I should better jump into one of these guys and have a look at their Flickr albums online. So the idea is that either in people or within the album you still get access to your social network and you're not having to kind of jump out into different things. Obviously you have the screen rotation, we also have the, the pin zooming features you see. We also have the tap zoom as well so you can tap into a particular area you want to focus on. It's fantastic. Yeah, no, it's a really, really nice experience. And you're not having to jump from one application to the next, that's the main thing. Do you mind if I get a quick shot of the, of the albums showing that you can show that you have the flicker of the Facebook yeah, and sure. your phone? 